Hi everybody, it's Jerry here. Welcome back to uh, Fish Jones Beach. And uh, I was looking over some old video and I had tied a knot with stranded wire. And there was a reason for that. It was because I needed wire and it was a quick, easy, fast, strong, secure knot to tie. So today I'm going to show you how to tie that figure eight knot. It has its place in time. An important thing to be a fine angler is knowing your knots, when to use them, how to tie them, how to correctly tie them, know their use, when and where, and that will make you a better angler. So uh, let's get down to it, and uh, I'll show you the first knot, the figure eight. In addition, there's an even better one. It's almost a clove hitch. It's tied almost the same as a figure eight, but a little different. So let's look at these knots. I'm right going to put a, a, a 12 circle on wire. When tying knots to stranded wire, I like to use a figure eight knot. It's really simple. You just make a figure eight. Just like that. That's a pretty strong knot. I just clip off that end. I leave a little tab. Okay, I'm back home now, and I'm going to show you how I tie this. Now I'm using a uh, fly line because it shows very well, I think, on the camera. An actual. This is a 14 I think, shark hook, but I've caught small critters with that too. This is a stranded wire that you would be using. And they tie relatively well. So, but I'm going to tie this with the fly line as I'm showing you. And remember, these, this knot can be used for any 2D critter and stranded wire. So basically, what we're going to do is go through the eye of the hook, pull your wire through, just imagine this with wire. And you're going to make a loop. And all you really have to do is come around the loop. I'm showing you the loop. Come around the loop. And go right back through your other hole. So you got that figure eight. And pull. Tighten. Now, if you were doing this in the field, you might want to take the pliers to the tag end to hold and get a really nice connection. But that's all there is to this knot. You clip off the end and you're ready to go. Make sure it's good and tight. And now let's do this again with stranded wire, actual wire to use in the field. And again, just go through the hole. I kind of put it in my other hand here. It's a very simple knot to tie. I make my loop and you want to come around the loop almost to the other side and you go back through that loop you made right through that hole look at that figure eight that's what you want and it might be tricky tightening and a big thing with knots is learning how to tighten them correctly that's an important part is tightening knots but that's a beautiful figure eight so you can use a plier on the tag end but I like to work that end down might be a little tricky with wire sometimes because it takes a little pressure to tighten. But just take your pliers on one end. Make sure you're not as good and tight. Grab your tag end. Give it a good pull on both sides. And that's a good tight top knife. Not <laughs> sorry. That's not gonna go anywhere. Solid. And remember, know your knots when to use them. That's the important part. There's all kinds of knots to use. Some are stronger than others. But know the pound line you're going to use them for. Know the materials that they work for. Know when to apply them in the field. Sometimes you need speed. And this knot is perfect for speed, wire, and getting out there. So let's clip this. And that's our perfect figure eight knot. Maybe there's one more thing I want to show you to make this knot just a tad bit stronger. 
although it's strong just as it is. I really don't ever do this, but basically, you got a plastic outer coating on your wire. A little bit of heat will ensure that that knot doesn't budge at all. I generally don't do this in the field, but it's one last thing you can do. And a little extra insurance, if you do happen to have a lighter, will make that knot just about 100%. Pretty cool stuff. But I want to show you something really neat. And this is what I prefer to do out in the field. When I'm out in the field, and I prefer to tie to my hook, not the swivel, as we start a whip from a clip in the field. But this is how I prefer to tie wire to a hook. A circle hook to be precise. I go through the whole of the eye of the hook, I'm sorry, the eye of the hook. And it's really easy not to tie. It might look more complicated, but it's a figure eight knot. Except we're gonna take it around the shank of our hook as such, under. I'm showing you and now you want to go over your line again under the shank and go through that little gap right in the middle as such and that's a hitch and all we're going to do is tighten the knot I'm just going to take my time tightening this don't ask me why but if I was doing this in the field I would do it rather quickly but I'm just procrastinating talking to you and that's it. And this is my preferred way to tie to a hook. So I would use the figure eight or a clove hitch to my hook. And I would use the plain figure eight to my swivel or snap. They're super strong knots, especially this one. This is just about 100%. But uh, they work great. Just keep in mind you want to go through the shank of the hook. And also, I want you to keep in mind tying knots, knowing your knots, knowing what knots to use when, what they can do with different types of line and whatnot. It's a big part of fishing and making you an excellent fisherman. And that's what we're here to do. But uh, thanks as always for watching. I want please like, uh, dislike, comment. I love all your comments. And if you have any questions about the content of this video, please ask. And of course, as always, subscribe to the channel. So I'll have more videos coming up soon. And remember always, fish your way. And thanks again for watching. Have a great night.